any place that I can get my Cookie Monster flat bill and my yes. that's a good store, right? There. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most baseless show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my typical co-host, Graydon. Today I'm feeling strong. Nice. Very strong. <laughs> and today on the channel, we're ranking something different. This is Mall Stores Tier List. If this is your first time watching us, we usually talk about music on this channel, but we decided to do something different today. For the average citizen, the American mall is the consumeristic escape that only capitalism can offer. And who doesn't love the food court? I love it. <laughs> you do? I love capitalism. You do. And I mean, in the midst of COVID, we just miss going to the mall. We used to kick it there, man. <laughs> I know. So today we're going to take the typical stores you'd expect to see in a mall and say which ones we like, which ones we don't like, which ones we just feel okay about. Mm -hmm. Rank them. Best to worst. <laughs> All right. Before we get into it, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Go to HiveMindTV.com to get some merch. This is the merch. It has sleeves. You yeah, it does. I just roll them down to show you guys my guns. <laughs> and other than that, check the description for the link to our Discord, link to our Spotify playlist, and the secret comment. Absolutely. Let's get this going. All right, we... let's do it. God, I miss the mall. <laughs> you remember what they used to call us? Mall rats? Yes. <laughs> it's about the only cool rat you can be is a mall rat. Yeah. Or a New York rat. Or a Democrat. <laughs> Right, those yeah, are all good, be, rats. good rats. Those are good rats. <laughs> Demic rat. You put the rat in Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first, we've got... Aeropostale. The, a, a, <laughs> ooh, a crown jewel of a lot of local malls. Like, definitely. Um, kind of the cheaper alternative. That's kind of what I was going to say. It's like there were the, the kind of preppy stores. Yeah. Aeropostale was the one like... You I could, could afford. You could hit the clearance <laughs> rack, yeah. 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 Like my parents would cop me something from Aeropostale and not feel bad about it. And Aero has kind of made like a comeback. I kind of like key, a little yeah. bit of Aeropostale stuff. Key, like, yeah. Like I see some stuff on Depop that's old Aero that I'm yeah. like, that's swag now, yeah. you know? Uh, Aeropostale was like, it's middle of the road, but for that affordability factor, I want to put it a, like above C. Let's like go a, B. Let's yeah, go B, B for it. Yeah. I think that's totally fair. Yeah. Totally fair. All right. Not as pungent as its alternatives as well. No, with the exactly. cologne vibe. Yeah, they're not too heavy on the cologne. Music's not as loud. I feel yeah. like it's just a more lights sensible. Are, the like, lights are on. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Next, American Eagle. A E. Now we're getting into like that upper echelon of mm. preppy clothes. Uh huh. Like there were kids I went to school with where I was like, damn. They got that. You really afforded that. Uh -huh. like you got that in your budget. But at, at the same time, they had kind of, they had affordable pants, like khaki pants. Like if you yeah. were going to wear khaki pants, you could get them from American Eagle and they'd look nice and they weren't crazy. Yeah, that's true. You know? See, I was always thrifting my American Eagle garb. Like I'd go to Savers and I'd be like, oh, that's AE, mom. Yeah, can like, I? Can yeah. I? And she'd be like, well, it's $3. Of course you can. <laughs> yeah, totally. American Eagle, like I have some bad memories there though. Uh huh. They like took some leaps and bounds with designs and stuff that I wasn't a big fan of. And they did a recent like a comeback video that I was like, uh, I don't know. There was like a Kendrick song. It was yeah. trying too hard, you know. This is like a D for me. I will say that this is a little bit of a spoiler for maybe later in the video, uh -huh. but it's not my favorite of these type of stores. Right. But it's probably my second favorite. Okay. So. Okay, I see where you're getting. At. Right. Okay. What do you think? I think D. You think a D? Really? Yeah, it's a D. I would have gone B on it. I'm not going to lie. So I think let's pull it to a C. That's Just fine. go right in the middle. That's fair. Okay. The, again, so we're Democrats. So <laughs> we got to put it. Got to be I put the rat in Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. Oh, rhymes too. Yeah. That was I, bars. I can't stop barring. <laughs> right. Next. A mall oh staple. Oh my God. Auntie Anne's. I can taste it right now. You just need that pretzel. Same with airports. Yeah, yeah. Like this airports is... and malls, just Annie Ann's runs it. What's the ripoff Annie Ann's that always tries to like take the clout? No idea. Zetzel's. Or isn't it? Zetzel's pretzels? Zetzel's <laughs> Or Wetzel's. <laughs> Wetzel's. That's it. Zetzel's. Yeah. Wetzel's pretzels. I knew pretzels, it was yeah. some stupid name. Wetzel. Fuck Wetzel's. If you're a team mm -hmm. Wetzel, like I'm not down with you. But if your name is Wetzel, that's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great first name. <laughs> um, Annie Ann's is different though. The jalapeno infused soft pretzels, mm. the cinnamon with the- The dips. The dips. Oh. All sorts of dips. Like, Ooh. I mean, if you got $45 and all you want to eat is pretzels, Annie Ann's is your place. Honestly, nowadays, if I'm going to the mall, because yeah. it's so seldom that I that I go to the yeah. mall these days, I'm getting Auntie Ann's just oh. because that's, it's like what it's I was thinking of. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm at the mall when in Rome, you yes. know? <laughs> Annie Ann's is a big A for me. I, I think it's close to, I think it's gotta it, be S. It's gotta be? Yeah, it's, it's, 
within the context of the mall, can you get more iconic? Can you get better than Auntie Anne's? I mean, I'm thinking Dippin' Dots, and I'm thinking, like, the jewelry kiosk are the only things better. So it, wow. it is kind of S-tier. Yeah. I think it's S-tier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm also noticing, as we're progressing through this, the similarities between not only malls and airports, but malls and rest areas. Yeah. Like, you know, it's got Very, that same yeah. sort of voyeuristic, like, I'm there for a second passing through. But here's your 15 options. Uh-huh. It's like, jeez, which one do I It's choose? kind of almost, being at the mall is kind of like... It's just kind of like like gawking at the mundane. Yeah. It's like, here's a lot uh, of stuff about America that average. is really simple and average and normal. Oh, but you're like Clark's shoes? I, exactly. <laughs> but I'm, I'm much, I enjoy it. You know? Yeah. All right. Let's go S. Okay. Our first S first is Anians. S. That's fair. All right. Next. Buckle. Wow. <laughs> here's a place I've never bought anything from. Never bought, but I'll go. Oh, I love it. I like, love looking at the designs, woo, the, yeah. the pattern jeans, all boot cut. <laughs> Faded with big metal buttons. Yeah. Like sometimes, like, uh, what do you call the zippers where there's no zipper, but it's all buttons? I don't know what you call that. There's a name that. for that. Okay, yeah. yeah. They sell that kind of stuff. And... I've always, I'm always fascinated by your typical buckle guy. Definitely uh-huh. like, you know, butt rock sort of guy, motorcycle guy, maybe. Misogynistic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why ma- bedazzle all your stuff? I don't know. What is the good, like, correlation? Bedazzling is tight. Don't get me wrong. I'm just I saying, like. I feel like it's some sort of, like, masculine, feminine compensation. Like, he's, uh. like, so masculine outwardly that, like, if you can put some jewels on his jeans, it, like, helps <laughs> even out. Right. <laughs> tight shirts, V-necks, bedazzling, but not. This is, like, Ed Hardy meets, like, but Pixar. I'm straight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get that mixed up. <laughs> Absolutely mixed not, up. buddy. I'm straight. Paint my nails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are we going with Buckle? I don't know where to put it. Buckle's a C for me. I got nothing against it. Only against people who wear it. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> let's go C with it. I'm... And again, with the stench, we have to take like the store aroma into account. Yeah. And Buckle usually isn't like... Oh, it's plain. Yeah, it's very plain. It smells it like smells wood. like you got COVID. Like you know? wooden jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All Not right. wooden jeans. Wood and jeans. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next. Build a bear. Oh, again, another store I've never bought anything from. I don't think I have either. I think I've considered it for gifts maybe back in the day. Yeah, maybe. But like if I had a child, oh, God willing, one day I will. Yeah, God willing. Um, <laughs> I feel like they'd love Build a bear. I, uh, yeah. Like if I was a child mm. and they had Build a bear around, I would have like went crazy. See, I was a big fan of Build a bear in my head. Like this was bordering on A or S for me until yeah. I heard all the stuff about. Hillary Clinton uh, uh, and the Yaks and the Eyes Wide Shut parties and yeah. that whole thing. The Build-A-Bear meetings. Pizza tape the, stuff. The, or the, not pizza tape. Pizza gate. Yeah. Pizza gate. Yeah, the build a Not to be confused with David Grissom and Jerry Garcia's mixtape. The pizza tapes. <laughs> pizza gate <laughs> is much different. Until I heard about that, and which makes sense. There's a lot of kids there. Way um, more controversial. Yeah, much more controversial. So to me, that drags it down. To a B. Yeah, I think it's a B. I think it's a B too. I would love to give it a shot, but I fear for the overpricing. I fear for the global elites. You know, I would put it lower than a B, but I'm worried about them coming for me. So, ah, you know. Because your blood is so sweet. Mm. I'm going to go, yeah, let's just put it at a B and, and not ask not any more questions. <laughs> let's keep it. You know? Yep. That's how we do it. <laughs> and the other thing about Build a Bear that was cool is when I was a kid, like fourth, fifth grade, I was very short. And so I bought a lot of my clothes there. <laughs> See, I was skinny, so I just went in there and put some of the stuffing in me to like kind of fill out. <laughs> Next, Chick Fil A. This is a mall store. Yeah, it did kind of. It's start always off in the food court. Always, yeah. At least in good malls, I feel like it's at the food court. I mean, I can't even like. What do you mean? I can't knock them. How do you? I don't. Where? What's your energy here? I mean, I'm saying there's a lot of things you could say, but I've had. Oh, oh, oh! I've had so many flawless meals there. Yeah. Let's not get into ethics of any of this. I mean, they've all got everywhere. These are big corporations. Everywhere in the mall has got employees overseas working for three cents on the dollar. They're throwing the babies into blenders or whatever they're doing. And listen, bears, whatever they do. So let's just not even mention any of that. No. And let's just talk about our experiences at these places. I've had nothing but a five-star dining experience every time at Chick-fil-A. And they always say, my pleasure. 
My pleasure. <laughs> so, I mean, this Love is the workers. Yeah. This is S tier for me. Yeah. I mean, it's an S tier place for sure. Yeah. I get a headache every time I eat there. I'm allergic to something in their little <laughs> recipe. So I don't really know, but I still, <laughs> when I, it. when I eat it, I'm like, wow, you know, Top how do you get good chicken at a, that at fast. a fast food place? I don't get it. Yeah. I don't understand it. So yeah, I it's an it. S. I mean, someone on. sold their soul. Yeah. So, so far, only food has even great. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> right. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay. Cinnabon. Oh, God. <laughs> Have you ever got, like, ordered yourself a Cinnabon and expected a regular cinnamon roll? Oh, not really, no. No? I, I think I kind of knew that See, it was I've something been, else. I've been tricked at least twice. Mm. Like, truck stops and at airports. Yeah, truck stops, like, airports, and rest areas. They all got these. Early morning, I'm like, oh, yeah, just a little cinnamon roll. That sounds normal. And then I order it, and it's just like... It's like six pounds. It's, it's like, like a <laughs> globby, bloopy, yeah, blub of bl- just mess. It's just like melted cake frosting. Yeah, just like dipping all over. I like it. eat around it, and then I'm like, "Well, what do I do with that?" And yeah, I like look over, and there's like a huge guy in his seat, like <laughs> in a, in and a I'm like, flannel and Carhartt. Hmm, that's what I should be doing. There. Yeah, and I just throw it out. Cinnabon sketchy. Yeah, I don't, super sketchy. Feels like a front mm-hmm. for like something bad. And I know we weren't getting into ethics exactly. But there's something about it that is just like not rewarding. Like I, I want something and then I receive something very different. You know how like something, sometimes you're like, something's really good Mm -hmm. and then you'll deal with the consequences. Yeah. This is very good, but the consequences outweigh the thing. By far. Yeah. By far. So I, I just like will Cinnabon goes on an F. I will walk past a Cinnabon oh, easily yeah. and be like, I, you the ever, thing I enjoy yeah. the most about a Cinnabon is the aroma mm. that surrounds it. Oh, it does it. smell really good. You're like, yeah. mm, that's mm. something I could eat. And then again, we're back to the blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Garbage. So this yeah. is a straight F. Let's go F on Cinnabon. Never had a positive experience at a Cinnabon. Mm-hmm. Claire's. Claire's? What yeah. do they sell? Ladies clothes? Claire's is like, uh, it's like a girl's store, like uh, for young teens, I think. Yeah. And then okay. you, a lot of people get their ears pierced there. That's right. Where, you know okay. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I remember Claire's now very, yeah. very clearly. That's like a first, like girl getting her ears pierced in sixth grade or yeah. whatever, you know, that deal. Um, Which somehow makes it feel sketchy. Like, a little should bit. there be needle technicians that are like their right, main like, demographic? Yeah, I got fired from my last tattoo shop, but they hired me here because. <laughs> I'm hanging out with the manager's daughter. <laughs> Your main demographic is like <laughs> is like sixth graders. It just seems odd. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I think you'd look good with a nose piercing. <laughs> <laughs> if you just talk your mom into it. <laughs> you have snake bites? <laughs> sure. <laughs> for the piercing element, I want to give it like a B. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a good experience for other people. I don't have any experiences none, there at all. None other whatsoever than, yeah. to speak of, but I want to give it a B. Okay, let's just give it a B for no reason. Yeah, they've never outwardly, like, hated on me. Yeah, okay. Maybe we should get our ears pierced at Claire's. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be a good vlog. Yeah. You want to do that? We go to Claire's and get our ears pierced and buy, like, flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. All yeah. right, coming soon, then. <laughs> Onward. Dick Sporting Goods. Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lots of jokes were made. <laughs> a lot of day. jokes. This is one that I thought... Um, this is always how I walked into the mall. Exactly. So this is what <laughs> I was going to say is like, a lot of people probably don't even think of Dick's as a mall store, no. but it was at the front of the mall that we grew up <laughs> near, and so you'd have to walk through it to always. get in. Like, And like the other options were like Dillard's, JCPenney's, uh, or like... Or like in between the Irish restaurant and the like Rainforest Cafe Claw type deal. Claw and uh, Bravo's so, or something. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> or like... Uh, your other option was like Forever 21. Yeah. I always go through dicks. Yeah, me too. Always liked, like, in that way, it's just a really good lobby. Yeah, it's a great it's, lobby. It's big. It has it's a very l- big. Strong air conditioning. Strong air conditioning. Mm-hmm. And they always have the mannequins that are doing the sports, which yeah. I like. Like, they'll have, like, a guy with a baseball. They'll yeah. have, like, a little guy holding the putter in a golf get up, or they'll have a guy with a football in, like, the tight Under Armour gear. Mm, it's always a good day when you can buy your soccer cleats and your guns at the same store. Exactly. Or I get like a driver and like uh, shotgun shells. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or like a Toledo Rockets hoodie. You know? Also, if you haven't dunked in a Dick's, you're really missing out. That's, so I used yeah. to do that all the time. They'd be like, hey, no hooping. And we'd be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they I've got escalators in there often too. Exactly. A great element to That's a mall great. store. Yeah. Um, Dick's is like a, a tier for me. I think it's an A. It's like 
kind of like you can the a, mall version of a Walmart. Like, yeah. in that you can, like, fuck get around it. with your friends in there. You're right. You know? You could hide from the employees, yeah. get an ultimate frisbee, and, Ooh, like, a okay. lot of stuff. Yeah, let's go A on dicks. That's a good one. From camping to golf to frisbee to all that stuff, yeah, you can't help but love a good cock. <laughs> foot Locker. We got some foot fans out here. Let's yeah. go. Foot Locker is great. Like, for us, they added, like, you remember when they added, like, the extra shoe element? Like, mm-hmm. when sneakerheads became such a thing that it was, like, Foot Locker and then, like, the exclusive side that was like just hype shoes. Oh, they like interesting. added that. That was really hype. Um, I want to give Foot Locker a really high rating just because the employee garb. Yeah, they got to dress like referees. That's which awesome. Is awesome. That's yeah. awesome. They're like Shh, deals on aisle two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I like. Uh, it serves as like if you're in the mall and you're shooting a music video. Oh, they're like the fun guy. Like they'll do something. You'll always like always ask them. And yeah, and they'll like, be like, "Yeah, let me Millie Rock for your video." Yep. You know. <laughs> and like I've seen people steal the one, like display shoe. Oh yeah, so many times, mm. and I'm always like, "What are they gonna do with that?" Just the right. Like, yeah. Go to another one. Get the left. I, I guess. guess <laughs> but I, I feel like it's like a corporation mandate that it's always like the right one. Or yeah, yeah exactly. They wouldn't do. You know. Yeah. They didn't want somebody to play in a... But what, I love football. Like, it always smells nice. Um, what's the other shoe place, though? That, finish Line. Yeah, I, I kind of always leaned Finish Line. Ooh, I didn't put Finish Line in here, but it was narrow. The, there were yeah. so many stores I had to include. But. Like uh, Finish Line and um, what's the other sports one? Not jerseys, but there's like a... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The Foot Locker isn't like my favorite sneaker... Like, if I'm looking for a hot pair of kicks, I'm not going right to a Foot Locker. I don't think I've ever bought anything at a Foot Locker. I'm going to be honest. Honestly, I bought I bought like those uh, white canvas ones that I had. You remember those yeah. all white ones? I got those at a Foot Locker. The Foot Locker is like a B. Okay. A good B. I'll give them the B for the outfit specifically. Yeah, just for the, the atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Employee dynamic. <laughs> GameStop. Mm, talk about a good store. GameStop is one of those that that's one that I'll go into. I've never bought anything at a GameStop. I'm not a gamer. No, but they'll let you play the new Xbox. They'll let you play the new Do Wii. Do they? Some, yeah, that's always like a little demo out. When there's a new system, they always mm. have it in there. I sold my GameCube to a GameStop and regretted it immediately for like $37. I yeah, like, I, I used to I take like do. 30 games in and be like, I want the new Call of Duty. And they're like, cool, we'll give you six bucks yeah. for all these games. <laughs> yeah. And you can have the new Call of Duty for 55 <laughs> Yeah, totally. Um, I do... Like that, the GameStop logo looks exactly like this. Is it the Smash Burger logo? Yes, is exactly. it the same one? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Another good employee dynamic. I've ran into like a lot of really talkative. Oh, GameStop they employees. want. That's why they work there. It's they're like, like they're like I love talking about games. They're like, uh, they're a step up technologically from like a comic book store worker. Yeah, I feel you. They're yeah. like, oh, you're having a little problem with your AV cables? Come here. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, let's step out in my uh, like T-Bird and I'll show you like what I got working. Yeah, I feel like the maybe nowadays GameStop isn't getting as many employees because Discord exists and they do, <laughs> they, the people on Discord do for free what GameStop employees do for like eight bucks an hour. Or That's whatever. true. Probably so, 15. Yeah. I like the toys in there. That's yeah. what I, I go in and look at like Pokemon toys. And, and they have cool. sick, like, name another place that sells a bunch of used video games. You know, that's like a kind of a hard commodity that is actually yeah. like really useful to come by. Like sometimes I've gone into GameStop and been like, wow, I can buy these four old video games for like 30 bucks. Well, these become obsolete the same way Blockbuster did because people are doing so much of it online. Like a new game comes out and you're like, okay, I'll get that. I don't know. I feel like we're going to, like, it's going to be a necessary to have a brick and mortar gaming place for a long time. And they've kind of carved their way into being like the premier spot for that. Mm, Maybe they should transition like post COVID into being a gaming Almost like Hang an out. arcade, yeah. but like for new age. That would be interesting. You know, like an, or like an eSports. Like come in, you, you know? can get a 30-minute trial on any game you want, and then you can buy it. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. You pay like, like five bucks to be Five bucks, play something. it for 30 minutes. We'll jump you in in the middle of a mission or something. If you like the dynamics, then you can purchase it. GameStop, hit us up. We got some ideas. I fuck with y'all nerd ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing? I like an A for GameStop. I, okay. I've I'm, done a ton of business there. I'm cool with A. I'm cool with A. Um, yeah, that's fine. I love my gamers, too. <laughs> Shout out my gamers. All right. H&M. Ooh. I'm, a place ethically I could have 
endless garbage to talk. Well, we could, yeah. But I mean, I have bought so much swag from H and M. I've bought stuff from H and M, but I will say that the old cliche about H and M, how like you buy something and then a year later it's fallen apart. Oh, that's very, very true. true. Like this is fast fashion, like and it's to a fast. Tea. Yeah, it <laughs> goes know? away fast. You enjoy it for a little time and then it shrinks. And it's also sh- cool for like a month. Like if that's true. anything you so see there, trendy. it's so trendy that to a fault, you buy it and you wear it three times and then it's lame as hell. But I remember specifically buying like some plain Jane stuff here in high school. Yeah, that was like. A little more sophisticated. You could buy some jeans and then they'd be fine. Like cool button ups, like yeah. light stuff that like people would be like, hmm, where'd you get that? Like it didn't say how it was. And it was seventeen ninety nine. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I don't know. To me, it's still like a C though. Yeah. C or Just D. Qual- quality wise of the clothes. Like I've never bought anything from there that's held up. And it's also not fun to hang out in. No. The no, least fun to hang out in. And it's always kind of mall. disoriented. Oh, like yeah. there's like a clearance over there, there's men's over there, women's over there. And, and it's then different like, every time. I've been into like 14 H&Ms and they're all so different from each other. Yeah, and they usually play bad music in there. Wait a minute. Remember when H&M stole our designs twice? Yeah, I do. do? I just remembered that. That's yeah. in one of our vlogs. Uh, I don't remember which vlog. But anyway, yeah, H&M has stolen from it's us. It's a I, red cursive. Let's go to the D. Let's move yeah, it to a D. Fuck them. They stole from us. Screw them. So, okay. They're a That's D. our first D. Mm-hmm. And it's a big one too. Yeah. All right, Hollister. I mentioned him earlier. This is the one I was talking about. This is a place where I won't, I could never afford anything from as a yeah. kid, but I'll be damned if I didn't get dropped off at the mall and just post it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Straight up like, <laughs> uh, what's up? So, yeah, I might cost, I might be, I don't know. I might get a little something from there later. And then, like, who's that? <laughs> so dark and smoky in here. <laughs> I do remember the Newport Beach spray cologne. It was like a spray deodorant. Yeah. I used to get like one thing from like, let's say Foot Locker, ask for the biggest bag. I'd go into Hollister and I'd swipe the cans of Newport Beach, like five, six of them. And I'd dish them out to my boys. And we'd come to school the next day like... <laughs> Oh, and we like, God. <laughs> what's that? Wow. Smelling like the store. See, I really, I liked Hollister for its vibe. The the big LED screen in the mm-hmm. front. You've got the mannequins. It's dark. You can hear the music from like, like 13 stores down. Yeah. You're like, that's Hollister's music. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay. And then the best feature that they rolled out was the cologne fog machines in the yeah. back. The, where it was just, you couldn't even see anything. And it was kind of like, the music was almost muted back there. Yeah. It was like when an 808 is like, <laughs> you're almost hearing it through a wall or something. And they'd sell their CDs at the front. You remember that? Love they'd that. sell the store like mixtape. Yeah, it'd be like a compilation of a bunch yeah. of indie bands. And indie bands like, cool. and stuff. You'd yeah. be like, oh, this is hype, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I always remember their clothes. I don't know if I'm just the only one that thinks this, but their clothes were really heavy. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like, I remember even a t-shirt. I'd be like, mm. yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, what's in this? And like frayed slightly at the yeah. ends like this. Like it would just triple like... the material of other clothes. Even the shorts. Like, mm. yeah. Strange. <laughs> weight. Yeah. Some weight. And that's why it felt okay to spend so much money on it, I feel Kind like, of, yeah. Them. Yeah. And Hollister shit would hold up. I'll give it that. Uh-huh. Like, I still have, I think, a pair of cargo Hollister shorts that I never wear. Yeah. But like, they're in great shape. And if... If I never need to, I guess. <laughs> to bring back Hollister. Yeah, yeah, if I ever like need to go like seashell hunting or something, <laughs> I'll like pop those suckers on and they'll they'll probably work just fine for me. Right. I think it's an A. I think yeah. Hollister's an A. Hollister's it's an a. great for them all. Yeah. <laughs> just for yeah. I'm happy it's and if we could like somehow transcend it into a club experience where the clothes were just there, you can't buy them, but yeah. like, you're there to dance and like you could buy some drinks or something. And you have be... to be like a seven or above to get in. Yeah. <laughs> like they're like you have to be tan. <laughs> Abs. Know how to serve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Next one. Hot topic. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is the best store. Best in the store mall. in the mall, yeah. I bought, I'm just going to share one of my favorite hot topic experiences mm-hmm. besides the anal beads. Um, I bought <laughs> blue hair dye. I used to beg my mom every time I went to get my haircut to get uh, like a uh, Liberty Spike Mohawk. Yeah, totally. Kind of like Travis Barker back in the day. Yeah. Or the drummer from uh, Good Charlotte. Or like uh, the lead singer from Rancid. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and she never let me, but my sister was going through a goth phase and obviously we frequented Hot Topic all the yeah. time for gore and horror and all this black hair dye and nail polish. And I got blue, like partial hair dye from there one time. 
and it was gel. It was gel and dye. Yeah. And my sister put my shit in the blue Liberty Spike Mohawk, and I got to go out to lunch with that hairstyle at like age twelve. That's sick. And that was a highlight. Do you of have my pictures life. of this? I, yeah, probably. I this was when I was wearing the dog collar, and I used to have the nails painted. Yeah. My parents still picked my clothes out for me in the morning, but my dad would like lay like. Got you the black socks and black pants. Yeah. Like, I know you want to wear all black. And I'd be like, <laughs> right on. It's so funny because you just seem like someone who would never have had that face. Right. Yeah. It was my sister. She forced it on me. Yeah. She was like, this is cool. And I was like, yep, bet. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny now to go into Hot Topic because back in the day, you'd have all the different band shirts and stuff. Yeah. And you go in there and it's the same thing, but replaced for now. So I can tell what the right. kids are into. Like, like it's so weird. Like, there'll like be like X shirts. There'll be there. little Peep shirts yeah, and little Tracy Peep. shirts and all that. And I'm like, that's cool. And there'll be like little Aaron songs mm-hmm. playing. This know? was cool too because it was always like a place where you could get like that edgy music kind of like subculture stuff. But then they always incorporated like Japanese culture. There's always like anime mm. stuff in there. You could even buy like mangas. And I remember buying like Invader Zim gear. Yeah, it's like Hello Kitty. But then also you could get like yeah. an actual like death metal band shirt. Right. You know, you could like, get a Whitechapel shirt too. Do like, we have the E-boys and E-girls of today not, without not at Hot Topic? Not at all. Yeah. Like but this is like the, the it, palette. Or whatever. Like, yeah. Here we go. It's These the are mood the board. Yeah, yeah, the mood board. Like, this is what you're into. And then totally. people grow into it. Yeah. I mean, this is obvious S tier. If we could yeah. put it higher, I would. Yeah, I would. I've spent the most money here of any of these places. Yeah. Probably combined. Yeah, but... maybe besides any ends. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it at the front of the S as to. Well said. There we go. Okay. Up next. Jimmy Jazz. <laughs> A place I always thought was cool, but I never felt. Like anything in there besides the shoes, like like jackets yeah. and pants and stuff. I was like, oh, that's not made for me. Like I, that's, that's that. I would walk in and then I'd, I'd like look around and then I'd be like, yeah, I don't know if they were aiming for me as the demographic Jimmy, as an 11 year old white kid. <laughs> Jimmy Jazz always had some clearance sneakers, though. Like, yeah. Like like the last season's weird hype stuff that maybe didn't catch on with everyone. Uh-huh. They'd have it in there for like forty bucks. Yeah, that's fair. And yeah. Foot Locker and Finish Line were always quick to get in the new stuff and like kept the high price mark stuff. But on like the end of the Jimmy Jazz shoe rack, I was always like, oh, I've never seen these Stefan Marburys before. Oh, <laughs> like, dude, the Marburys. <laughs> They had some uh, obscure hype stuff that I could get down with. Yeah, my other favorite thing about Jimmy Jazz is that every single one looks different. Like, yeah. they don't even have the same logo no, in most of them. I feel like a lot of people won't even know what Jimmy Jazz is. I feel like it's not, like, necessarily. Yeah, like, it was in our mall, though. Right. And so that's why it's here. But, yeah. Yeah. And the workers were always very nonchalant. I oh, remember, yeah. like, the workers, like, chilling. I'd walk in, I'd be like, what up? And they'd be like, yeah, what up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of, like, yeah. hanging out. All right, where are we putting it, though? Jimmy Jazz is a B for me. I think that's I think that's a good spot for it, yeah. I mean, why not? Like right. I couldn't think of it being lower. Yeah, that's that's fair for sure. Journeys? Oh, <laughs> Journeys was always chaotic. Always small, just like this too. Always so tiny. Small. And there it's near the food court. And you're like, like the walls are just covered. You don't know which is the children's it's or the chaos mass. in yeah, there. It's like chaos. the logo is like it. Like if the yeah. logo sucks. Journeys! It, just, <laughs> it just sucks. Like everything. Honestly, I don't, I do not like journeys because I would go in there and be like, all right, I'm going to see if they have vans that are cheaper than the ones in the van store. Mm -hmm. And if not, I'm just going to go to the van store. And the van store is just like organized and normal. And then Journeys is like this. We got everything. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Another place where you could steal the model shoes very easily because they always put them way outside the store. They're like Ah, across the alley. And you're like, Journeys. And then they had like Journeys for Kids at a certain yeah, point. They that did have a Journeys for Kids. I dated a girl that worked at a Journeys for Kids. That's cool. Yeah, it was cool. Do you miss her? Um, No. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's we're, doing fine. I think we should put this at either a D or an F. I think it's, it's an a D. F. You think so? I mean, what's good about it? That's fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, can, about- what can you not get elsewhere? You right. Know? Like what? Why is it still exist? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. Lids. Lids, bro. How do you go to the mall and not stop into Lids, you know? I used to have a Lids card. Oh, me too. I had the Lids card. Of like course. when 5950s were popping. Yeah. I was the king of them. Me too. I'm not <laughs> lying. Like I was the man. I was buying so many flat and, bills. And when like, we transitioned from 5950s to Mitchell and Ness, like snapback kind of retro oh, styles. Yeah. I was still the king. <laughs> I was right there with you. I at my parents' house have 
no joke, 250 hats. Yeah. Like, not all from here, by the way. My dad sells baseball cards and sports memorabilia, so he would give me a bunch of them. But then I would save up, and I would be buying, like, stuff at Lids. Yeah, I mean, if it was baseball season, I'd go in there and buy an Indians hat. If it was basketball season, I'm going in there and buying a Cavs hat. I always wanted wanted the Blue Jays, the old Blue Jays hats. Like, those were some of my favorites. Um, The guys at Lids were always cool, too. Yeah, they knew what they were. Sports fans, they knew the logos, they were talking to you. They were, like, what I am imagine to be like older hip hop media. Yeah. Like they exactly. dress exactly like yep. them. Like they're like, they're almost like we're from like not rural Ohio, but like an area that's kind yeah. of like that. And these guys dress like they're from New York. Yeah. Like they were always like, thought they were cool. For yeah, that. yeah, for sure. Uh, Liz is like a B. B or an A. I think it's an A. Yeah, I think it has fair. so much nostalgia of just like. And it's just hats. It's just hats. Like that is pretty cool. Like that's if you open a place and it was like just socks. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a 5950 here to go I throw know, on, man. you know? <laughs> I used to have this gray Mitchell and Ness snapback Cleveland Cavaliers that I just, Ooh. it was so cool, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was unstoppable in that sucker. Dang. You remember when clothes, like when you were a kid, like clothes used to make you feel like if you got something new and fresh, like you they put s- it on and it would like. They feel like that, I think. A little bit, but it's definitely different now. Yeah. Like I would take on damn near a new persona. If I popped on some fresh gear when I was yeah. 14, I'd be like, ha, ha, I don't even know y'all. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like when you're figuring out yourself, yeah. those things, like, yeah. Like, I'm not even from this school. Like, I'm <laughs> from somewhere else. I, I used to, like, straight up try to change my personality to mm-hmm. avoid bullying. Like, when I was, like, in seventh grade, I was like, all right, they've been making fun of me for the past year, so let's see what's going on here. I'm going to go get a Rolling Stone shirt. I'm going to get a jean jacket. I'm going to show up in that. Some American Eagle pants. Right. And then I'd show up. Up and they'd be like, ha ha, you tried to change your whole personality. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. there was no winning with them. Never. <laughs> Bullies. Uh, next. Orange Julius. <laughs> oh my God. Again, a place I've never really patronized. Neither have I. But, but I'm I allergic to everything I- in it. So. I love the idea of smoothies. Mm. And if I'm not out of line, there were always cute girls working there. There were. Yeah, that's for sure. But th- this is like the like the malls of yesteryear. Kind of, yeah. It's like Orange Julius in the 90s. Right. That's like what you think about the mall. But I feel like even kids now, they might even be like, what is Orange Julius? Yeah, like you a know? smoothie king. Yeah, but they got like, a, it's like a kiosk though. Yeah. It was like a kiosk where they're making you smoothies, but they had one specific type that they would make. Yeah, if you can remember a time where it was like hip and fresh to use a blender... Right. <laughs> this was Orange Julius Aries. They were like, hey, you like all these fruits? Well, guess what we can do? I'm pretty sure it was like an ice cream smoothie, too. It was almost like a milkshake. It was yeah, like it was always mix. very cold. Yeah. Something was weird about it, but never yeah. patronized it. Always cute girls there. And I love the name. Yeah. So for that, it keeps it out of like dog shit territory. Yeah. It's like a C or a B. I think it's a C. C's fair. I like it from a nostalgic. But if I, I just could remember never, the taste. Yeah, exactly. I, I could maybe give it a B, but, but C's good. Couldn't do a mall tier list without it. So, all mm-hmm. right. Here we go. Next. Pack Sun. Oh, a place I could honestly get down with. Yeah, I would I would hang out in there a lot. I'm ashamed of every single piece of clothing I've ever bought from there. Oh, yeah. But it says like. I don't even know what it says. I would get like Fox stuff there. You Fox know? stuff, or I would get like DC, like like. Mm, I'm embarrassed just to say admit it, just this. Say. Like Aztec pattern button ups. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Like <laughs> like orange and brown and yep. yellow and blue. <laughs> I would have the one that was like that was like like you know how normally on a shirt the hole is like this size. Yeah. I would get one that's like this size. <laughs> And it had like three buttons, so it was like you could really get low with it. And it's made out of like, oh, like flimsy little material. But you're talking about like a flimsy Henley. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's cultural appropriation, but we were too young and it was marketed to us. Yes, so, exactly. You know. And this was like, honestly, this was the edgier alternative. It was like the to sp- what? Well, like the straight oh, edge kids yeah. go Hollister, Aeropostale. Yeah, I'd be like. I'm, I don't skate, but I'm, I might. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Might. I don't live anywhere near water, but I could surf. Like, <laughs> I would be into it if I did. <laughs> I could surf at Kalahari, you know. I mean, there were some cool clothes there. I definitely got some swag from there and some shit that set me apart from like a Midwestern or Publix high school kid. That's fair, but at the same time, it's pretty much the lamest thing ever. Yeah, like yeah, you know. I mean, this is a a B. 
Pac Sun's a B for me. Nostalgia wants me to say A, but yeah, let's go B with it. I, I'm tempted also, for C. Because, it's also you know, amorphous. Like Pac Sun has changed its style like drastically based on whenever they want. Based on whatever version of rock music is on the radio. Yeah, that, oh, that's on. <laughs> Ship all that old shit out. Time to get some new. Yeah, shit like out. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like a little bit emo right now. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's do it. Um, we're going B with it. Next. Pink. Wow. Victoria's Talk Secret. Talk about a store Pink. I loved going into but never bought anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those fake cans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually do think I've bought some stuff here one time for like a high school girlfriend. Yeah, I would go in there with her. Yeah. Like if you're at the mall, you'd be, like, I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> I would be like very <laughs> conscious of how I'm being in there. Like I'd be like, I'm not looking around. Just looking at the ceiling. Faced, <laughs> gotta make sure everybody. Yeah. <laughs> looking at the yes, ceiling. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you asked. Oh, pink was, it was, I had a, always had a good time. Very organized. Always looked kind of good. No, it's great. I mean, it's they like. They that dog. You remember the dog? The dog? Yeah, they have a pink dog. Like, really? Was it a live dog? Or it's you usually like about? polka dots. It's like a white. Like, you didn't answer my question. No, it's a, it's, it's, a, a, it's a fake. It's not taxidermied. It's like a fake dog. Like okay, a stuffed yeah. Stuffed dog. dog yeah. And it would be like pink. And it always just standing there. I was like that aspect. Of, oh. I think it was like their mascot. Nice. I don't, know where, is, to, I don't know where. This isn't this. Victoria's Secret. This is like the clothing. It's Victoria's and, Secret pink. Oh, okay. I think it's like marketed to maybe like younger girls. I don't really know. All I know is when I looked up a list of essential stores in the mall, this was on it and I, mean, I remember sure. it. Yeah. But like, yeah. And I mean, even in the times I was single, it always made me feel like I still had hope. You know, I'd see some of those sexy mannequins and be like, <laughs> maybe one day. Jesus, man. I don't know where to put this. I think we got to put it at. It's like, a seat. That's like a yeah. non-controversial, like right, right middle of the road. We've never bought anything from there for ourselves. <laughs> right, right. All right, next. Sabaro, oh. where we blur the lines between a rest area and, and the mall. Truck stop in the mall, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sabaro, like when have you ever seen a Sabaro outside of the context of other stores? Oh, yeah. Never. I don't think I ever have. It's weird. Yeah. They just, that's where they, they came up with it for that they, context. But it's good enough to exist on its own. I want to meet the guy who at each Sabaro, who's in charge of putting together whatever those boxes are they give you the pizza in. <laughs> like, what are those, like, like, <laughs> like third grade craft projects? Yeah, like, they are weird. Weird, flimsy little box, you know? I mean, for, a, like, a $5 slice of za, it's kind of kind of smackable. No. Little Caesars takes this by so much. Sabaro is terrible, man. I've had some good foods there. I've had some good eats. We're on different ends on this one. Wow, dude. Especially the calzones. I thought, <laughs> who goes to Sabaro and gets a calzone? Hungry boys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, in our food court especially, you had Taco Bell, Panda Express, like, you had a Chick-fil-A, mm -hmm. you had a Tropical Smoothie. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of places you could go, and you're frequenting the Sabaro? I did. That's crazy to me. I was that little nasty screwball <laughs> from the country. I don't know. All right. Sabaro was good to me. Sabaro's a B in my mind. My vote is for F, so where are we putting it? D. D. All That's right. Sabaro is a D. <clears throat> I think most of the it's country... It's kind of a grease ball truck stop <laughs> joint, so I'm, wow. I will agree with that. All right. You love Taco Bell. I'll never forget that, though, so... I love it, yeah. I know. <laughs> Next, Spencer's. Jesus Christ, this is my favorite place. Is this it? is my favorite place inside the mall, outside the mall. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. It's like if I got a gift for my, like anybody near my age. Uh -huh. Within four years of my age and I got to buy him a gift, I'm going to Spencer's. Right. Any place that I can get my Cookie Monster flat bill and my dildos, yes. that's a good store right there. Sex dolls, like a belt buckle, a Hulk poster. Uh, uh, yeah, a Rick and Morty joke. An erotic <laughs> board game that you could play with your friends. Like Exactly. And it always has the garage door pull down. Yeah. What a cool store. That part. is a cool idea because then you're, I don't know what it's even calling back to. No, it's like, like, it's like a maybe New York, like an LA, LA store. Or like, yeah, oh, like yeah. the LA market spots, mm. you know, whoosh, slide Almost like up. a box park situation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Spencer's was cool. And Spencer's took me a while to appreciate, obviously. Like when I was a kid, like I was always like, man, what's I'd be like, that's the weird store, yeah. you know? And it's always in the back of the mall. Yeah. It's, it's always, never like Hollister, Abercrombie, Spencer's. It's like, you're like the bathrooms there's and a, then like a Dillard's. <laughs> and then it's like, there's a oh. guy, <laughs> there's a guy in a trench coat next to one of the kiosks. He's like, 
You want to know where the Spencer's is? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'm like, like, seriously, I've been looking for an hour. <laughs> Spencer's is like S, 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 S tier. S tier, Spencer's, let's go. All right. Let us know what your favorite thing you picked up at a Spencer's was. Yeah. I'm interested. All right, last but not least, Zoomies. Zoomies. Solid maybe shop. least. Kind of like a, yeah, maybe least. <laughs> kind of like a, like a clean Spencer's. It's like... Spencer's without dildos. Mm, it's more so... Yeah, I guess it is. It's I mean, kind it's like of a like a, skate. it's like a culture store. Like it has like a lot of random stuff. Like they carry like YouTuber merch. Yeah. While they're also carrying like vans and whatever the vans competitors are. Skateboard decks. Yeah. And shit. Uh, this is the only place I've ever bought Odd Future merch. Oh, so yeah. So I will give them that. Like mm. that's pretty cool. And I remember seeing that like when I was younger being like, oh shit. Like, they made it into the mall. Yeah, I remember thinking that was really cool and for them. Yeah, being yeah. like, whoa, this is different. Like, because they weren't even huge, I would say, when they first got into, like, a Zoomies. Yeah, that's Like, that's they true. were still kind of off the beaten path, a little edgy. And so that was cool, but overpriced. Talk about pretentious employees. Oh, their employees are weird. I mean, just the worst. I feel like this is like a... Uh, they, like, shame you for not buying a skateboard when you're in there. This store is like the personified vape gods. Yeah. Like, it's like vape gods of stores. That's what they are. I'm like, yeah, I just need these socks. And he's like, of course you do. <laughs> of course, that's all you need. Fucking coward. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Right. He's in a thrasher shirt. Yeah. He's like, he's, he's like, skateboarding yeah. wall. He's checking me out. <laughs> he's like, you've never done a kickflip. <laughs> never. I can just smell it on your breath. Uh, I think it's a D. I've got to go D on Zoomies. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. It's like all yeah. the other stores trickle down into this one thing. With hateful. Employees. But shout out Odd Future. That's really the only reason. Bigly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go D on Zoomies. I like our distribution here. I yeah, this is a good one right yeah. here. Um, so yeah, I think the best stores in the mall are Hot Topic and Spencer's. The worst place you can go is a Cinnabon. And yeah, that's that's good. Those are good bookends to mm. understand. Yeah, I kind of feel bad putting Journeys below Zoomies though. Oh no, that's fine with me. You fine with that? Yeah, I think they're both pretty unnecessary stores. They but. are, but Journeys is like shoes. That's it. Yeah, that's fair. Like, you couldn't cop a hoodie in a Journeys. Yeah. And if you did, it would say, Journeys! <laughs> on it and that crazy logo. Yeah. All right, well, um, <laughs> what stores do you think that we missed? Yeah, I tried to get as many as we could, the most essential stores. Also, we're both guys, so there isn't, like, limited to in here. Right. But I tried to include what, you know, what we could for everybody. Shout out Forever 21. Ooh, Just, uh, like, an honorable I forgot mention. about Forever 21. An honorable mention. I got, this kind of an H&M Forever 21 are, like, yeah. right there. But though, Forever so. 21 is better than H&M, in for my sure. opinion. For yeah. sure. Um, cool. Uh, let us know what you thought of this. Let us know your tier list. We're going to put the template link down there so you can do it. And also tell us what other things we should do in a tier list now that we've went past music. Wait you know? a minute, you bought this at Zoomies? Dude, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> no, I bought this at a gas station, which is better than a Zoomies, That's objectively. True. So That's true. They sell petrol. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been High Mind TV. We appreciate you. We love you. And we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Don't go to the mall right now. It's not worth you it. You can't go right now. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs>